Pioneer Charter School of Science 2 end of the year ceremony for, the, for our 8th grade class. My name is Nora, class of 2020. And my name is Joe, class of 2020. We will be your host for this evening. We have gathered here today to recognize the hard work that all of Pioneer students have put into this school and to acknowledge their dedication and diligence. But most importantly, we are here to congratulate and applaud the 8th grade class for making through the rigorous academic year and to welcome them into high school. Welcome. It is my great pleasure and honor to open our 2019 end of the year service. To our parents, teachers, and guests, thank you very much for being here and contributing both your time and support today. This past year has been a challenging and busy year for all students at PCSS2, especially for our 8th grade. The timing of this graduation provides a perfect opportunity to pause, take a deep breath, and gently reflect on the past 10 months. As many of you guys already know, our school's community is made up of hardworking and focused young individuals. We are not a big school. Our school population is just around 360 students, and yet our school's accomplishments over the past year are quite impressive. In fact, we have had our third graduating class this year, and every single one of our seniors were accepted into college. A path that our 8th graders can follow into the college programs of their dreams. This year, our 8th graders have met the challenges of being a student at PCS and are now ready to move on to high school. Our school's curriculum is strict and rigorous. I know that most of you have felt overwhelmed at times. This is understandable. But I can honestly say that because of your experience at our school, you will all be able to take on the challenges of the high school experience that is coming your way. Tonight is your night. Reflect on the wonderful memories you all made during middle school and cherish them. As we celebrate and honor your graduation, I hope you enjoy tonight's ceremony and have fun. Thank you. We want to thank you all again for being here tonight to witness the accomplishments of our distinguished students. Now, I would like to ask everyone to please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed by one of our exceptional eight graders, Tiana Thank you, Tiana. That was wonderful. Now, please join me in welcoming to the, to the stage our Executive Director, Mr. Sedlich, with some words of encouragement to our student body, parents, and guests as we conclude our sixth year at PTSD.
Good evening, everyone. Dear parents, staff, faculty, and most important eighth graders, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Pioneer High School of Science School, I welcome you to the stepping up ceremony for the class of 2023. I would like to begin by congratulating the class of 2023 and their parents. Eighth graders, first, I'd like to sincerely say that we are proud of you. Although ECS is still known to be with its rigorous education, not only you have met school's expectations, but also exceeded them. I am also confident that all of you are ready to take on the challenges that will come your way in high school as well. No matter what those challenges may be, I need you to promise me that you will always stay true to yourselves and that you will always do what is right. In the words of the respected Mahatma Gandhi, I need you to remember to keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. And keep your habits positive because your habits, because your habits become your values. And keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. I want to take this opportunity to thank our parents, faculty, and staff for their endless efforts. Thank you for preparing our students as well-rounded individuals for our community. Also, a big thank you to our setting up committee for putting together tonight's event. Once again, congratulations to all of the students, congratulations to the parents, and finally, congratulations to the teachers and everyone else who continue to help our students reach their important milestones. Thank you. Mayor Gary Christensen has dedicated himself towards serving the public since high school when he was elected class president in his junior and senior years. After graduating from Malden High School, he went on to Suffolk University where he achieved a bachelor's degree in political science and a master's degree in public administration, and later earned a Juris um, Doctorate at Suffolk University's Law School. During that time, Gary worked at the State House, where he served as a budget analyst and later as the budget director for the Middlesex Sheriff's he also devoted a combined 13 years of elected service to the Malden School Committee and City Council. Since becoming mayor in January 2012, Gary has worked in unison with residents and businesses to tackle the many challenges facing the city. He embodies the belief that we are in this together to make our community the best it can be. Mayor Gary also believes that communication is critical to a better model. He can he can regularly be found on social media sharing the great things happening to our city. Finally, he has been committed to fostering an inclusive environment for Malton's vibrant and diverse community by encouraging citizens um, and to enhance and deliver our services as residents. The mayor's philosophy in life is summed up in one line. What you put in is what you get out. So without further ado, please welcome Gary Christie. Good evening. I stand before you not to talk about today, but to talk about tomorrow. In the words of the famous Dr. Seuss, will you succeed? Yes, you will, indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guarantee. Unfortunately, in life, there are no guarantees. But I believe the following, what I call, a five-point plan can help lead you to success in high school and beyond. Number one, try everything and find something that makes you happy. Whether it's art, music, sports, becoming part of an organization, volunteering, your freshman year is the time to explore and find out what may be your passion at high school and in life. For me, when I got to high school, I wanted to play in a rock and roll band. But when I figured out that I couldn't sing, I decided to become the mayor of Malden. <laughs> Number two, 
Hard work and dedication are the keys to success. It's not about Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter, but rather it's about working hard and giving it the all. It means using great effort to get something accomplished. The motto I live by is what you put in is what you get out. Number three, remember that it's the little things that count. I try to lead by example, so people will see me walking to work, picking up trash, volunteering at events, and sometimes even directing traffic. I truly believe it's the small things that make a difference. Number four, be yourself. Each one of us is different and unique, and that's what makes life so interesting. Do and be what makes you happy. The famous singer Taylor Swift said it best, just be yourself, there is no one better. And finally, number five, treat people like you would want to be treated. The famous poet Maya Angelou said it best, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Again, there are no guarantees but with hard work, dedication, and remembering the five-point plan, I am 98 and three-quarters percent sure you will succeed. Congratulations, and now it's onward and upward.